Hi, this is the Belkasoft Evidence Center tutorial series. In this video, we will review analysis options available to you in the Belkasoft Evidence Center. One of the most popular features of the Evidence Center is the ability to find and extract more than 800 various types of artifacts straight out of the box. We call these artifacts low hanging digital forensic fruit. They can include emails, documents, chats, browser histories, social networking communications, mobile apps, pictures and videos, system details, encryption detection, geolocation, multi-user online games, and many other artifacts too long to list here. If you want to extract any of these artifacts, you're going to need to switch on the option Analyze Data Source for Artifacts. If you don't choose this option, the only available information that you will see within the newly added data source would be the file system information. Of course, you can always extract the supported artifacts later. And of course, this could save you time if you only need to analyze the file system. The other option available to you at the first Add Data Source screen is Run Hash Set Analysis. By turning this option on, you can find all of the files with hash values matching any value from a specified NSRL database. Now, I'm going to specify a database and we're going to give it a label and a color for hash set matching. If you check the Analyze Data Source for Artifacts option, the next button will be available. Otherwise, you'll just finish by adding the data source and then review the data source and the file system window. On the second page, you can see the list of supported artifacts which Evidence Center can find and extract again straight out of the box. The list at the left contains the artifact types while the list on the right contains the particular apps for each type. For example, if you selected chats at the left, on the right you can select any number of chat apps for the various operating systems such as Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows. The more artifacts you select, however, the slower the processing will be. So you're going to need to make sure that you deselect the types of artifacts that you don't need to extract. For example, if you are analyzing an iOS device, you can deselect the Windows artifacts. Also, the encryption detection process is a quite time consuming task, so you're going to want to make sure that you deselect it if you don't really need it. At the bottom of the screen, you can find two checkboxes, Analyze and Carve. Select Analyze to extract artifacts from existing files. Analysis goes through all of the files and the folders using the file system information. Carving, on the other hand, is a complementary way to extract data. It doesn't use the file system information. Instead, it uses artifact signatures to extract the data thus enabling you to recover deleted and or hidden data. Like with encryption, carving can be very time consuming, much more than just to analyze. So you'll want to seriously consider unselecting it if time is of the essence or you're just performing some preliminary analysis. Under each of the analyze and carve checkboxes, there are links for advanced options. If you click on advanced options for analysis, you'll be able to select partitions to analyze. This is particularly important for Android phones, which have many partitions, but only one that's more or less meaningful. If a device had volume shadow copy snapshots, you will be able to select one or more for analysis. But again, you want to be careful with this selection since VSE snapshots are also very slow in analysis. Advanced carving options allow you to carve allocated space, unallocated space, or both. For allocated space, you can carve all data or even free space, that is, space not occupied by any file. The Belka carving option here is only valid for memory dumps, and so it's disabled now. Most of our users will select all artifacts on all partitions to analyze and carve. While this is the most lengthy process, they just want to make sure that they don't miss anything or any of the supported data. 
If this is what you desire to do, you may need to leave your computer working overnight or even longer. If you need the results quicker, seriously consider restricting the amount of artifacts or partitions you wish to analyze. Once you've selected artifacts of interest and tuned analysis options, click on Finish and go to the Task Manager window to monitor the analysis progress. You can also go directly to the Overview window to observe the results of analysis as the product works. This concludes our video on Evidence Center analysis options. Belkasoft Evidence Center makes your investigations quicker and easier, yet more comprehensive and more effective. To download your free trial today, go to belkasoft.com forward slash trial. Thank you for watching.